Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to be diving into Unity uh, for our first lesson. And um, this is going to be a short lesson. It's going to focus on the Unity interface, uh, what kind of the different window panes do, uh, how they work with each other, and kind of how to navigate around inside of Unity. So let's get started. So if you've ever done any 3D modeling before, the interface of Unity might look somewhat familiar. Uh, it's also very similar to other game engines, uh, but there's some unique Unity type things we're gonna kind of go into today. So let's kind of go uh, maybe left to right here on the screen and kind of see what we're looking at. So up here at the top, of course, we have our menu bars, pretty standard across any program you're used to using, so not much explanation is needed there. Uh, up here, we have our manipulation tools, uh, we'll go into those in more depth when we start talking about object creation and object navigation. But up here at the top, you know, you have the, the hand tool, the move tool, the rotate tool, and all those tools are actually bound to some very distinct hotkeys. And if you look, uh, it's basically on your on, on the QWERT, the QWERTY keys there at the top. So I press Q, it goes to the hand tool, W, E, R, T. You kind of get uh, the picture here. So that's kind of good to know. Now let's kind of jump into some of these window panes here. Okay, so over here on the left we have our hierarchy. Okay, and in our hierarchy, this is everything that is currently in our active game. So I just created a new 3D project here, and as you can see, I have just a main camera and a directional light, and we can see them in here in the middle. There's our light, there's our camera. Uh, in another video, we'll, look, we'll look, learn about how to add new objects. Um, okay, so in the hierarchy menu, uh, like I said, you can rearrange your objects, you can rename, them, add new objects, and we'll go into that in more detail later. Okay, now let's look at the center window here. Uh, we have three tabs in the center window, in this viewport window. We have the scene tab, we have the game tab, and we have the asset store tab. And let's kind of go those, go into those in detail. So the scene tab is kind of like your developer's view. Uh, this is what it looks like uh, when you're building your game. You're going to be spending lots of time in the scene tab, moving your objects around, creating your game, creating that world. Uh, the game tab, uh, this is what your game looks like uh, if a player was playing it, right? So as you can see, it looks very different from my scene tab. It's lit. Uh, there's a horizon line. This is just kind of the default Unity setup. Uh, and there's not much else going on. And then finally, we have the Asset Store tab. Now, the Asset Store is a fantastic place to find a lot of great uh, free assets to use in your game and some fantastic paid assets. Now, we'll do a separate lesson on how to like move around the, nav uh, the Asset Store, how to import new assets. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, of course, to use the Asset Store, you actually have to be have a Unity account. Um, Unity accounts are free to make. It's a fantastic program, as I've talked about in class. Um, if you're using the offline version and you're just skipping the Unity registration, you will not be able to access the Asset Store. So I do recommend uh, making a Unity account uh, if you're going to be spending some time with the game engine. So let's go back to the Scene tab here. Now let's go down to the bottom here. Um, we got a couple different tabs here. We got the Project tab, our Console tab. I have uh, Animation and Animator tabs. You may or may not have those. Uh, these last three tabs, Console, an Animation, and Animator, will be a lesson for another day. But let's focus on the Project tab. In the Project tab, we have one single lone folder in the left here called Assets. And the Assets folder is very important because that's where you're going to be storing all the assets, all the pieces that go into your game. So in the Assets folder, you're going to be putting your scripts, your materials, your 3D models, your textures, your sound effects, your animations, your particle effects. Uh, everything you're putting into that game is going to be stored in this Assets folder here, this root directory. But depending on the game, you're going to have hundreds if not thousands of assets in this folder. So it's very important to kind of get in the habit of organizing your assets. And we'll have a video later on kind of how to do that, but it's basically going to mean we're going to create a bunch of subfolders and then you're going to store things appropriately. Okay, the last window I want to talk about uh, today before we start uh, on navigation tools is over here on the right, the inspector window. And as you can see, my inspector window is blank and that's because it's a context sensitive window. And what that's meaning is uh, it changes based on what you're interacting with. So if you have something selected down in the assets panel, it'll change. If you have something selected in the hierarchy or the scene window, it'll change. So here's an example. I'm going to click on my main camera here. And if I click on my main camera, 
As you can see over here on the right hand corner of the screen, my inspector window has now been populated with all the camera settings. So you can rename the camera, you can change the camera's position over here, we'll go into this in a future video. Here's the actual camera settings, uh, where you can change if you want a perspective or orthographic, you can change the field of view, the depth of focus, HDR, all these other fantastic things um, that you might want to play around with. If I click on the directional light, same thing. We can change the type of light, uh, we can change the color of the light, uh, the intensity, uh, its strength. Um, so it's uh, the inspector is a very handy panel to see what's currently on that object. Uh, and we call all of these components. So uh, you'll notice that all your objects start with a transform component that's universal against, uh, that's universal with all components that you'll be putting in your game, uh, with all objects you'll be putting in the game. Um, and uh, but uh, after the transform component, you'll have a bunch of different components, and we'll be going over how to add new components later. Okay, now the last thing I want to talk about is just how to move around here inside this center scene window. Uh, once again, if you've 3D modeled before, you'll find navigating in 3D space uh, uh, pretty easy to pick up. But let's kind of go over the main commands. So. Um, First, let's start with a simple zoom command. Just roll that mouse wheel in and out. Pretty straightforward, makes sense. If I hold down right click, it orbits the camera. And if I press shift and hold middle mouse button, I can pan the camera. Um, so that's all well and good, but it's a little cumbersome. It could take a while to kind of get where you want to go. So here's a little trick uh, that is very handy, especially if, uh, if you've played first-person games before. If you hold down right-click on the mouse, you're going to notice my cursor changes from the arrow to an eyeball and uh, four little squares. And uh, for those of you who might notice, they actually recognize the WASD key. So if I hold down right-click and press WASD, you can navigate around like you're flying around in a shooter. And that is very handy when you quickly want to move around your scene. But you know, maybe something happens, you get kind of turned around and you're lost, you don't know where anything is, and you don't know how to get back to where you started. Um, and that might happen, uh, but it's very easy to fix here in Unity. All you do is go over to your hierarchy, select an object, double click on it, and it's gonna bring you back to where you need to be. So double click on the hierarchy, and it's gonna put you into the right location. Okay, so I think that's good for today on a basic Unity interface, how to move around, and kind of what the different window panes do. We will see you all later.